and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carling Gaming Pokemon Leaf Green Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge, where in today's episode we're heading to Celadon City to, uh, I guess, start uh, knocking out the rockets. We should, or I guess, you know what, we could head straight to the gym and just uh, try and get our fourth gym badge. Dare we try it? I want to say Erica has some, like, level 29 action stuff happening, so maybe we should give a quick... Uh, level up to everyone. Maybe we'll, we'll fight the trainers on the way, maybe, if we're going to do that. But we also have the guaranteed Eevee uh, gift Pokemon we can get from Celadon City. So there's that. Um, plus, you know what? It's yeah, I, I feel a little more comfortable going to fight Erica because after going through the rock tunnel in the dark, a terrifying experience where almost at one point every every team member was halfway down the health bar. It's the kind of experience that you can't help but bond over. And whilst I'm not going to say that Dracus has any, um, like, given up any sort of ambition of becoming the team leader, Dracus at the very least is not like, like openly, there's not like animosity, open animosity. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, towards Hap anymore. It's just sort of like a, a begrudging, I want your spot, but I also understand that it is your spot. If that Does that make sense? Um, it seems to have largely helped helped a lot of team um, solidity, except, except, dare I say, Moira in here, who we, who we know was feeling sort of like the, uh, the, like the uh, kind of standalone, kind of like self-important uh, Roselia, and we, everyone else was suffering as a team about half health, but Moirin was like, whatever, I'll just Mega Drain. Look how great I am. I heal myself. I am amazing on my own. So there's uh, that Moirin, as as he's been growing, has been growing um, uh, more and more uh, individualistic. So we got we to gotta rein that in. Now, um, we could go fight peaches over here i think we're gonna wait we don't want to run into peaches just yet i don't th i think we could take them but you know we could also go ahead and try and catch something we're gonna leave with dracus because maybe dracus will evolve this episode we're only three levels away man you know what I'm saying? that's gonna be exciting um dracus could turn into a shelagon let's see here we go what's cute random fluffy pokemon could it be kiana like the wiggly tough we caught well that's probably not what you have in this round let's see a polywhirl all right all right all right um, I don't have anything. I wish we see the thing about Dracus at the moment is that she sadly has no dragon type moves, which is a real bummer because Polyworld flinched. Oh, we can't take advantage of any stab. And even though we have the Aerialist, we're not a flying type Pokemon yet. So we're just having to wait on that. But there we go. We're going to get the, the kill on the Polyworld. That's nice. And are we going to... And a wish cash. Ooh, ooh, always a dangerous Pokemon. We're going to switch here to Moirin because Moirin wrecks um, groundwater amnesia. Okay, a solid start. I don't think it's going to save you in the end, but Moirin's probably going to get a level off of this. Here we go. Good dead. Yeah, how's your amnesia feeling now? Did you forget how awesome Moirin was? I bet you won't anymore. Boom. Level 29. Amazing. Moirin trying to learn Grass Whistle. What does that do? I don't even know. I'm not familiar with this move. A pleasant melody is played to lull the foe into a deep sleep. Ooh, interesting. Interesting. Okay, so accuracy 55. Never mind. Hard pass. That is terrible. 55? Come on. You may as well be playing that grass whistle right into the wind. Whew. All right, what's this guy got? I'm a rambling gambling dude, or rambling, I, you know, I've been reading that wrong. He said, I'm a rambling gaming dude. How gamer rich. Wow. Is it always been that? Is he not? Isn't this guy a gambler? Did they change that from red and blue to fire red, leaf, green? I'm pretty sure he's supposed to say, I'm a rambling gambling dude, not I'm a rambling gaming dude. That doesn't even make, because these guys were definitely, oh, this seems like they've censored gambler to gamer. I am only for the first time ever noticing that. Oh, <laughs> look at this pathetic, not shiny mine. And he wishes, he wishes, but no, but no. Encore, I'm afraid. You want an encore? I'll give you an encore. Yeah, look at your quick attack. Oh my gosh, embarrassing. It's not the instant transmission critical hit attack that we have. 
Oh, we're so close to getting that line pack. We're almost definitely going to get the level now. Um, I think we're okay to stay in here, honestly, because we resist water and electric, although I don't like the fact that it's evolved. I don't like... I'm going to try and hit it with an aerial and see how that does. Okay. Oh, not good at all. Flail. Oh, it has flail. That is a dangerous thing to consider. Maybe we can get it a flinch. Oh, Thunder Wave. How dare you. Okay, I don't like this Pokemon. Water Electric. Dangerous combination. Let's switch. Hmm, should we go... Oh, boy. If we go to Happy, then we're going to go to Electric. If we go to Moirin, we should be good on Moira, because... Grass resists electric. Yes, right? Cool, that's a thing. And water. So we should be okay here. Supersonic. This thing is full of tricks. Full of tricks. Give him the old magic leaf, good sir. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Drag screw level 28. Booyah, well done. And there we go. So the good news is... And the trainers at Erica's gym. Well, oh my gosh, here I am. I am totally forgetting the randomizer. I was like, we'll just be able to aerialist our way and slash through that gym. No, we will not because we don't know what kind of gym Erica is. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot. I was like, we got to prepare for the grass gym. Just kind of nervous about because uh, yeah, grass has been giving us trouble. Uh, but you know what? It's probably not a grass gym. I guess it could still be, which would be, who knows what kind of Pokemon they have. Also, we can catch something because we are on what route? What route is this? Let's just double check it. Lavender Town, Route 8. All right, here we go. Oh, oh, I see. That tree grew back awful fast. What a weed. All right, Route 8. What are we going to catch? We should switch to uh, Sporks, Big Spork, or the Thunder Wave. What's it going to be? What can we catch? A are you kidding me? A Jigglypuff. That we just caught a wiggly tough. This is okay, so it's a great example of the species clause failing me miserably. Typically, what the species clause does is if you already have a Pokemon in the Pokedex, you don't have to worry about it. You cannot count it. But we don't have a Jigglypuff in the Pokedex. So this counts as the first encounter. Which is something duh. Which mean which does mean, in a weird way, we could put Jigglypuff on the team and then evolve it into Wigglytuff and get our Wigglytuff from the box and do double wiggles. Wigglytuff and Tough Wiggly, as it were. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. Or maybe we'll just knock it out. Oh, that was so close. It wasn't, I mean, it wasn't close, but it was, what? An Orinberry. Okay. Okay. You want an Orinberry? That actually works out because I definitely did about half, but now I think we're good to just put it in the red. Woo! Sporkles and his and his mighty quick attack. <laughs> Foes beware! Oh boy, we almost knocked that other one out, guys, but we did. Here we go. Pokeball, we can do this. Oh, uh, if we end up in a situation where we have double wiggly tufts on the team, that would be so... I mean, it would be tragic because obviously things would have gone terribly wrong, but it would also be kind of funny. Who Like... Uh, that'd be pretty funny. Balloon Pokemon, but it's huge. Out. Okay, yeah, we get it. All right, give a nickname to the puff. Yeah, hold on. Hold on, let's go find a nickname. Uther! Welcome, Uther the Jigglypuff, to the box. You're not going to lie, Uther. You've got a lot of things to overcome. That is from uh, user Uther Teasdale down in the comments there. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, you got a lot to overcome if you want to make another team because we probably just grabbed the Wiggly before we grabbed that Jiggly. Um, but, you know, it's okay. You gotta, you gotta have hope. I mean, you'd be hoping for, like, a lot of death that occurs. That's a weird thing to hope for. Jeez, maybe get your priorities straight, Uther. Okay, <laughs> rein it in. Um, anyway, let's go fight some trainers and prepare for the fourth gym, whatever it may be. Dracus, you got this. You got this. Oh, you know who'd be great in this fight? Sporkles. Sporkles is so great in every fight, though. I mean, what can't Sporkles do? Headbutt. Well, Sporkles cannot headbutt. That's true. Um, I don't like that. Okay. I was a little afraid they were going to get the crit. We know about how dangerous a critical quick attack can be, but they got nothing. Mantine. Okay, so this is a... Oh, Mantine's a flying type. I always forget that. You know who's definitely going to come in and take this guy off, though, is Sparkles. Because we got the, the four times power spark on this thing. Bubble Beam, I'm afraid not. You've got nothing on me. Spark for the win. Mighty Sparkles, do your damage. Yes. 
Yes. Amazing. We'll switch. Tra oh, and we'll just take this guy out. No problem. Man, what if Erica's gym is a flying type gym? That'd be great because Sporkles would just continue to wreck. Continue the domination. We would have no problems whatsoever. Oh, oh, look at this. Double battle? Is it a double battle? I don't know how this game handles it, but obviously we need to send in Fang Unit Dracus here. Oh, it's not a double battle. Or is it? Or do I just fight you? What's going on? Okay, I think it is a double battle. Ellie and Ann send out Dragonair and Dragonair. I don't like it. We have, okay, well, they get the double Intimidate, so there's that. That's nice. Um, I think we need to switch Dracus out, because if they have Dragon-type attacks, and we know they could have Twister from the last episode, that would be super effective, and we can't hit them with super effective things, so what we're going to do is switch out to Data there, and on the CC side, we are just going to go ahead and fight, and we're just going to tackle the one on the right. Here we go. Dracus, that's enough. Go. Boom. Get him, CC. Yes. Little, te little teamwork. Uh-huh. See, they went for Dracus. They were afraid of Dracus. As well, they should be. Aurora Beam! To the um, non weakened one, and we'll try and tackle the weakened one. Will we get the kill? Yes! Booyah! Excellent, Dracus. CC, Data, all gaining some. There's the Twister. Oh, it does double. It hits both. Interesting. Will we get the Aurora Beam off? Hmm. Interesting. Okay. And we're going to hit the Aurora Beam again, and we're going to hit the tackle again, and that should pretty much do it. Yeah, they're gone. They're dead. They mean nothing to us. Well done, Fang Unit. I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call it Fang Unit Dracus. Yeah, because let's. I mean, there's no doubt about who the leader of Fang Unit is in this particular gen. Is there? I mean, in this particular playthrough, CC is all about Team Dracus. Here we go. More to do. We're getting so close to Shellgon. I would love that if we could evolve our little dragon. Ooh, ooh! Look at this guy. A Kabuto. That's fun. That'd be so fun to see what our fossil turns into as well for Cinnabar. Like, I kind of want to do that. We could catch something, of course. No. Oh, you know what? The mansion and Cinnabar, I think, would count as different areas. Yeah, that totally makes sense. So we'll be able to get some, uh, two things there if we catch anything at all. Um, let's just see how the headbutt does. Oh, not good at all. Okay, so you know who we're going to go to for this is Moirin because they have got the double effectiveness. Everyone's getting so close to level 30. It's interesting to watch the rest of the team get stronger and stronger and sort of catch up to Happy. Happy was like way over leveled on everyone, but they've uh, sort of calmed down the leveling up in the past few episodes um, at such extremes. Uh, we've still been able to lean on Happy for in, in like dire situations, but everyone's getting a lot closer. Everyone's getting a lot closer. Speaking of which, let's go to Happy right now. Uh, yeah, you got this. Big haps. Roar. Oh, oh, I see. They, they're like, no, bring me Dracus. They want the fight. All right. Well, okay. Um, let's go, Ember. You want to fight Dracus? Ooh, okay. I don't know if I like that. We're going to say, sorry, Dracus can't play right now. If he used Roar again and brought out Dracus again, that would have been the funniest thing. But we're just going to water cut this thing for the win. There you go. Dracus, you're getting so close. Makargo. Okay, so this guy is what? A ground type? Is Makargo a ground type? It must be. Uh, it's definitely about to be a dead type. There's Happy getting a level, though. Good job, buddy. Good job. Working in glutes. And there's the Rhydon. This guy has got some serious pokes. Serious pokes. Nothing Happy can't handle, of course. Nothing Happy can't handle. We must look silly standing in line like this. Ah. Well, yeah, kind of. I can see you look amazing standing in line like that. Aerial Ace. Boom. Dead. Ha! Yes. And Gloom. Oh, here's what we... This is what I was thinking the Erica Gym was going to be like. Just a bunch of, there it is, level 29. We are one away from Shogun and three Pokemon. Oh, it's, wow, okay. This guy's actually a poison trainer. I was totally sucked into the grass thought. Because so many grass Pokemon are also poison. Kakuna, wow, that's hilarious. They've got a Kakuna, which is also weak to uh, flying, by the way. So, poison has a real problem with, oh, look at this. So, most of their team, weak to Aerial Ace despite poison not just naturally being weak to flying. Vile Bloom, all right, you're going down. Oh, we are so close. I bet that gets us over half because Vile Bloom's fully evolved. Oh, we're about halfway, okay. 
Awesome. I'm gonna heal because why risk it at all when we're this close to evolving? Here we go. Da -da 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 -da. I like Nidoran, so I collect them. Or do you? Wouldn't it be funny if she still had them? That'd be funny. Nuzleaf? That's an off-color looking Nuzleaf, I dare say. It looks sick. It looks sick. Is this guy gonna be dark or grass? I'm not sure if Nuzleaf picks up the um, dark type until it's a ship tree or not. Nope, it's dark. There's the Umbreon. As, ooh, we haven't seen you in a few episodes, Umbreon. How are you doing? Come to plague us again, have you? How do you like area laces? Okay, it seems like you handled it pretty well and hit us with a weird status attack. That seems right up your cheating ways. Will not defeat us, though. We can take you down. I think we're gonna have to bring in Happy. Happy to defeat the team villain. Uh, the water gun. Oh my gosh, it has so much. All it's using is sand attack. Just likes to play dirty. Oh my gosh, so much sand attack. And the pursuit, because it thinks we're gonna run from its sand, it is wrong. It is wrong. Wow, wow, I see how it is. Okay, tricky, tricky. What's this guy want, hmm? Get back over here, you wanna fight? Clear the way or I'll run you down. Are you gonna hit me with your motorcycle? That's quite... The, uh, oh my gosh, we are so close to the level. I think we don't want to fight this thing as it is. We want to switch. Maybe the Moira in here. Bone Club. Oh, boy, okay. Uh, I'm going to go Magic Leaf. Can't miss with that. And dead. Boy, it's so weird seeing trainers use Marowak just out in the field because typically you only fight like the one the whole game. Oh, but Dracus didn't get the level. It was so close. It must be so close to evolving. Dracus can feel it. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. What's it gonna? Is it gonna be you? Are you gonna be the one? My bike's acting up, man. Oh my god. Be prepared. It's about to fight a dragon. Oh, but there's another dragon in our way, and we're not gonna deal with that. We're gonna go right to Data, who is gonna help Dracus evolve. That's what's gonna happen here. You got this, Aurora Beam. Knock that thing out of the sky. It's going down. Oh. Got some defense, I'll say that for it. Fury attack? Mm -hmm. Be furious all you want. It will not save you from Data's mighty Aurora Beam. There it is. Dragus is level 30. Oh man. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. See, here we go. Now this thing's going down. Easy. Yeah. And a Bagon. Wow. How fitting. How fitting. Mm hmm. Bam. Oh, oh, Dana almost got a level two. I was surprised. Didn't after taking down three dragons in a row, but here we go. Dracus is evolving at long last. The day Dracus has been waiting for. I mean, we're not a Salamence yet, but we are a Shellgon. Yes. Yes. I'll tell you, if there's any Pokemon that doesn't look like it would know how to use Aerial Ace, it's Shellgon. But uh, ours can. And that's just how it goes. So, well done. Dracus evolved into Shellgon. Amazing. Trying to learn Protect. I mean, kind of, I mean, not the worst move, I guess. Ah, is it better than Bite, though? Is it better than Bite? Maybe. Mm, might be good for, like, scouting stuff. I feel like Protect. Mm, I'm going to do it, because we have a lot of Biters, and we're not like, yeah, we're going to get rid of this. I think. We're going to get Protect. Protect is good in many situations. Um, so there we go. Well done. Let's take a look at our brand new evolved Dracus. Oh, yes. Look at that. Yeah, see, our special attack way lower than our regular attack. But not as freaking high as CC. My goodness. Look at that 76 attack up there. Wow. Look at, I mean, poor Data. Yeah, Data cannot wait to evolve either, I think, because we are, uh, I mean, it looks like a pretty mixed attack. Our special attack's a little higher. That's good for us, but not super high on those uh, attack stats. That's okay. That's okay. Good special defense. Good special defense. There's our very mighty, happy, the Feraligator. And um, Moira did that skyrocketing special attack, which is so good. And uh, d even though it doesn't look like it, you may as well double all of these numbers because Spar Sporkles is just wrecking everything. I mean, who knows what, what secret Sporkles has. Um, do we got to fight this guy too? I guess we do. And then we're going to go get our Eevee. Or our not Eevee. We'll see what it's going to be. A Macago! 
We're going to switch it out. Let's get Data some fights here. Ember, please don't burn me. Of course you did. Wow. Water Pulse, dead. We're going to get the level. Then we're going to get hit with the burn. Trying to learn rest. Should we get rest? I think rest would be better than growl, honestly. So let's do that. Yep, there we go. Pseudo Wudo, hurt by the burn. So we could actually rest off the burn if we wanted. We're not going to, because we're just going to switch. We're going to bring in Moira in here. To take down this fake tree. You want to see what a tree looks like? You want to see the real power, you dumb rock? You're dead. Okay, that's what I thought. Get out. And a Larvitar. Ooh, okay, what is the ghost? This is all rock types. Okay, no problem. We got him. He's dead. Moira in level 30. Welcome to the 30 Club and a Geodude. Man. You know, for the, like the impressed, some, sometimes you'll fight these trainers and they'll have like fully evolved everything. And other times it's like, oh yeah, I've got a Geo dude. <laughs> okay, what do you want? Do you have anything? Nope, okay. So let's, what's that? I don't know, I heard something out there, you guys. Let's go. Is this a new route? Route 7? I think it is, right? Did we get the town map at the beginning? Of course we didn't. Uh, if it's if this is a new route, it means we can catch something in that grass. I'm pretty sure it is. So I guess we can. Here, here's what we'll do. We'll go look at um, our new Jigglypuff and see what route we caught that on, right? Because I'm pretty sure that was route eight, but I could be wrong. Move pokes. We should look at that. We have Kiana and Utha. Summary. Then route eight. Okay. And this is uh, route seven over here, lest I am mistaken. Which means, yeah, we can catch something in this grass. Let's go ahead and do that. Or try to. Or maybe I should go... I'll go buy Great Balls first, because I think I can do that in this city at long last. And then we're going to go get the Eevee, because I'm very excited to know what random thing we're just going to get. Because the, getting the Eevee is always so fun. Hyper Beam, Dig, Brick Break, Secret Power, Attract. Brick Break? Yes. Okay, someone probably can use that effectively, right? Like, CC? Oh, Great Balls, yes! Let's get 10. And let's get Super Potions. And do we have these? Nope. Let's get those. We're getting medicine, y'all. Let's get those. Loading up. Okay, we've got our groceries. Now let's go get our Pokemon. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Route 7! Oh my gosh, you guys! <laughs> Man, it's a Pidgeotto! <laughs> the, the ghost of Livid has come back. We got, we got a Pidgeotto on the line here. We do! Can you believe it? <laughs> oh, God. I'm floored! Mm. Okay, so we're gonna go Thunder Wave for sure. Do that. Oh my gosh. Oh, and the accuracy is down. Now, this is, of course, also the Pokemon our rival has. So let's go. Oh, uh, uh, what? Guys, what? Uh, this is like the episode of the duplicate clause failing me. Oh, okay. I guess we should, maybe we should just try it from here. Oh, goodness. I mean, we should try and catch it. Mm. One, two, three, boom. All right, well, we caught it. What should we name it? Just disappointment. <laughs> disappointment? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, gosh, there's Livid up there. Livid and... Oh man, oh man. Should we... Uh... I wouldn't, I wouldn't dare force anyone in the comments to have the Pidgeotto named after them. This, uh... Point. Disappoint. That's all I can name him is Disappoint. They can't get... Oh, there's only one. Maybe I'm throwing two S's as a dis. Oh! <laughs> oh. Dis. <laughs> dis a point. Dis <laughs> okay. Well, there you go. So I, I know some of you were like, how dare you? 
Wow, this has happened. It's already disappoint is in the box. <laughs> uh, you know what? It's if anything, it's also a slight towards Peaches and his dumb Pidgeotto slash eventual Pidgeot. It looks like Peaches will change his lineup in every fight except for um his his Pidgey. All right. So anyway, hopefully our next Pokemon will not be a disappoint. Uh, we're gonna go get the Eevee or the not an Eevee, as it were. So maybe this will be better. Here, this is our free Pokemon. This is our sell it on city Pokemon. Oh boy. I am so excited to know what it's gonna be. It says it's an Eevee. It's a Caterpie! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, it's a Caterpie is our free Pokemon. Oh, okay. Well, that's just, you know what? It's okay. It's okay. We've already, we're, it's fine. It's fine. Here. Um, we're gonna name you. This is, uh. C A T E R P I E. Catter cake. <laughs> well, I wanted to name it after someone of the combats. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we're gonna name you Kafu. Welcome, Kafu, to the box. That's after Kafu X in the comments. You have been the gift Caterpie. Caterpie was transferred to, okay, Kafu. You know what? Look at what we have waiting in the box for us, guys. We've got Jigglypuff. We've got Wigglytuff. We've got Pidgeotto. We've got Spitterack. We've got Caterpie and Sneasel. And we still have, don't forget about Blitz, the Vulpix over in, um, over at the daycare center. So we've got, we've got some options now, but man, I gotta tell you, it's been, uh, it's been some interesting catches we've had today. Some interesting catches. Uh, is there a chance for yet one more? Or, uh, what's over here? Route 16. Okay, so we can actually go for one more Celadon City catch here. Let's see. I'm having fun now, but what's it gonna be? We could go through there and get the HM for fly. We don't have a flyer, that'd be nice to have. But we're gonna try and catch something in this grass first. This means we can't catch the Snorlax, I guess, but who knows what the Snorlax, a Stantler! Okay, that's fun. That's fun, it's different anyway. It's different, I'll take it, I'll take the Stantler. Thunder Wave, Stant these things have Stomp, be the way. Astonish, all right. Let's go for the quick attack. This is our, our classic strategy. Oh, okay. All right, let's maybe charm this thing because it looks um, like it's doing more damage than I want it to do. Astonish, okay. Now we're gonna go for another quick attack. Oh, look at that, another critical quick attack. My goodness, we're gonna let's go to the bag. We're gonna try and great fall this thing right now. Do you think the Snorlaxes? Will still be the Snorlaxes? Or will they also be random? I think they're gonna be random, so maybe we're better off just going for something random in the grass. Or will they count as static? Man, is it possible the Snorlaxes will be legendary? Cause like static encounters are supposed to be randomized based on static encounters. I'm gonna go for another quick attack here. No, I'm still asleep, great, great. Look up, use quick attack, okay. There's the Astonish. I don't like how much damage it's doing to us, so we're gonna switch just for the sake of survivability and go into CC because it'll throw an Intimidate on this thing as well, so we don't do take as much damage. Um, and then we're gonna go to Great Ball. I wanna see if CC can get that Brick Break. Oh, come on! Get in the ball! Come on, Stantla. Got a lot of... Ah! Boy, this thing is, uh... Tricky. But you know what? We got plenty of Great Balls left. And Pokeballs, honestly. Paralyzed can't move. Come on! You're, it's paralyzed! We can do it! Get at the ball, Stantler. Join the team. Yes! There it is! Look at this, guys. How many roots in a row have we now caught Pokemon, huh? Huh? We're doing great. We weren't doing great, but now we're doing great. Give a nickname to the captured Stantler. Absolutely. Then do you want to pick someone from the from the list? Let's see here. Oh, okay. Hello, Bixby. Bixby! From Z 
Bixby. From Z Bixby. All right, there we go. Bixby! Welcome, Bixby, to the backs. All right. Well, we've caught several Pokemon anyway. I guess we can't catch whatever this is. If this turns out to, like, secretly be a legendary or something, I'm going to be upset that we caught that Bixby instead. But, um... We'll see. We'll see. There's two Snorlaxes, so, you know, we'll just have to go with the other one then. Although, it'll always mean we could have had two, right? Who's to say what it's going to be? In the meantime, what we really need to be worried about is what kind of gym Erica is running down here in this particular version of things. All right, let's find out, because there's a lot of trainers in here. What's she rocking? We've had, thus far, Poison, Bug, and I don't even remember what Lieutenant Surge had. It was not too intimidating. Let's see what Erica has for us. I should tell you about this gym. Only real ladies are allowed in here. Oh, my bad. My bad. Duskull. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Looks like she's rocking some ghost. Looks like she's rocking the ghost gym. Oh, boy. I didn't see that coming. I'll tell you that. I'll spark this thing into oblivion. Disable, how dare you? Okay, so that's a problem because we can't hit it with anything now. Um, but you know what? This is going to be Cece's gym. This is gonna be CC's gym. Oh, Confuse Ray, that is actually pretty effective against us. We're gonna go for the bite anyway. Yeah, boom, with the crit. CC's like, what, you need me, you need me to come in and wreck some stuff? All over it. And the Ghastly, mm-hmm, here we go. It's the Ghost Gym. Spite. No! How dare you, okay. Curse? Oh, this, okay, you wanna take your, Okay, I don't like that at all. Um, not one bit. Now, of course, we just got rid of that. We're gonna switch into Happy. I think Happy has Bite too, right? Yeah, Bite. See ya. A level 34, Chomp. Yeah, see you later, lady. Oh man, a Ghost Gym. How interesting. How interesting indeed. And you know what? I'm pretty sure Ghost actually is a physical type attack in this, so the Intimidate should be helpful to us, although they do use um, a lot of like Nightshade, which I think does as much damage as the level they are. It's a weird game mechanic. Oh no, why didn't I, I meant to switch. Oh, a Gengar. Okay, cool. It's fine. It's cool. It's, uh, it's fine. Um, we're just going to spark Gar the Gengar. Confuse Ray. That's fun. Uh, now we're going to switch because I don't want to have to deal with that. And if it uses a ghost type attack, it won't hurt us. So this is just going to be totally... Uh, CC's gym because ghost type attacks don't hurt normal types. So um, as long as we just avoid confuse rays and stuff like that, we should be pretty set. CC go to 29. Yeah, CC is gonna wreck this gym, no problem. This is so cool that it's a ghost gym though. How how random? Oh, fury swipe. So Sableye. I think I think when in Gen 3 when Sableye was introduced, it had this like uniqueness about it that. Um, it was weak to nothing because of the ghost dark typing. I might be wrong about that, but that's at least how I remember it. Look at these fury swipes, and we can't tackle it. We can't use normal type attacks against ghosts in the same way they can't use ghost type attacks against us. So we're pretty much stuck with bite. Another Gengar. It's going down. It's got nothing. Ah, oh, the confused right though. Mm -hmm. Heard it soften its confusion. The problem with that is that we are. Um, we have a really high attack stat, and confusion does damage based on your attack stat, so. Confusion is actually pretty dangerous for um, CC. So we should be aware of that. But the good news is we also have Happy. You can also lay down some serious chomps with his big old smile there. I mean, Happy doesn't skip leg day. He also doesn't skip chomp day. Uh, we're going to heal again because CC took some damage there. And then what we're going to do is switch CC to the front. And we're going to just fight everyone in here, because why not? Because free experience, right? We'll take the free XP. Everyone has a Gengar! There's just not that many ghost types is what it comes down to, I think. Curse! Gosh, now we're going to be afflicted, but we're going to wreck it. And we're going to get hit by the curse, I think, right? Is that how it's going to work? Or does it go away when... Oh, yeah, we're afflicted by the curse. So we got to get... We don't like that, because curse does, obviously, so much um, damage every single time. But it's easy enough to just uh, switch out of it, so it's no big deal. 
It's if they, like, trap you there with, like, mean look or something, and then they curse you. That's when, excuse me, you have a uh, real issue on your hands. Bop, 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 bop. Here we go. Ghastly. See, this is sort of the... It's weird having the randomizer on a ghost gym because you'd think this far into, like, Gen 3, they'd have a lot more... Ooh, dust pops. They'd have more variety, but they just don't. It's just, uh... Oh, if they... That would be annoying if they, um, hit us with a, uh... Disable on our bite. I guess we could still use Lick, I think. Boy. I know you guys are embarrassed by my type memorization stuff. I don't know if, um... I think Ghost is weak to Ghost? Is that a thing? We'll find out. Or maybe we won't, because we're having a lot of a... I'm not going to, of course, know now. Um, I'm going to fight this thing. Fake out! How dare you. Oh, and then you flinch, too. Yeah, I can do that. We can play this game, can't we? CC. Grand Bull for the win! Get out of here! Fight. Dead save alive. I am. This guy, this chick has five Pokemon. Ooh, a Banette. Interesting. Oh, we only have three bites left. That's sneaky. And with the flinch, though. <laughs> just go ahead and do it. Oh, Super Potion! Let's try the Lick. We'll just try it. Yeah, we got it. And it's super effective. So, yes, Ghost is uh, strong against Ghost. Shouldn't. Is this a Ghost type? Oh, man, that was nerve wracking. I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute! Because Shedinja, you can only damage. It has an ability where you can only damage it with super effective things. Everything else won't work at all. So, fortunately, we're still covered. But boy, that could have been bad. We're just gonna hit it. Well, yeah. It only has one HP. That's the thing. So if you hit it at all, it's dead. It's like a real risk. And a ghastly. Um, up, 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 up. Let's just go for the bite. Yeah, for the win. Boy. Okay. Well, we did it. We got through uh, that girl. And then we're gonna go heal real quick, just because we're out of power points for bite. Hold on. All right, and we're back. Oh, another Shedinja. So they are, all of a sudden, all the girls Erica keeps close to her are like, you get a Shedinja and you get a Shedinja. Sneaky. Heard, man, CC, I gotta say, normally very, very, like, uh, single track and, like, what she wants, which is just to just protect Dracus at all costs. But my goodness... Easily confused, it would seem. The number of times, I don't think we've broken confusion hardly at all in this gym. Here we go, come on, a Haunter? Wow, it's actually the first Haunter we've seen in this gym too, that's crazy. Now what kind of freaking curses everywhere? Well, that was an easy fight anyway. Uh, we may as well just Super Potion, because we've got plenty. All right, here, I think, Erica has four Pokemon, if I'm not mistaken. They could be very... I have no... I, I mean, nothing's been a problem at all for CC the whole thing, and who knows what she's going to end up with. She could have, like, four gases, and then this is super easy. But um, the plan is to just send in CC, and if we have trouble, we'll bail to Happy, and that'll pretty much be the strategy, I think. Fourth gym battle! Let's do it! Lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. Oh, dear, it must have been off. Welcome, my name is Eric. I'm the leader of the Celadon Gym. I am a student of the art of flower arranging my Pokemon. Solely of the ghost type. Oh, I'm sorry. I know. Okay. You got a lot to say. Um. Uh, um. And a gas. Oh, she only has three pokes. Okay. No probs. Wreck this thing. Intimidate. Yep. It's going to go straight down to a bite. No problem at all. Oh, it's going to go with the curse. Okay. So we're going to be cursed, which means we're going to need to switch to happy. Went for the curse early, though. Sneaky, sneaky, Erica. What's she gonna have? What's she gonna have? What's her ace gonna be? Oh, Banette. Okay. Not a problem. We're affected by the curse. I don't like that. We're gonna switch out to Caps here. Here we go. Oh, the Screech misses. That's beautiful. We're just gonna bite this thing to the easy kill, I think. Yup. Dead. All right. Yeah. Everything's going down one. What's her ace? What's it gonna be? CC grew to level 33. Look at that. CC just having a day. Having a field day. What a bidet. We got two levels out of that. Up to 33 and 35. We are too highest at the moment. Oh, it's another bidet. Okay, so, wow. You didn't end up being that scary, Erica. 
Mm, okay, I live that one. Spite, which is just gonna like lower the PP of our um, fight, which no problem. So we still have 19 to go. Oh, does she have a hyper potion? Well, you successfully used, I guess, six bites, but uh, you know, no biggie. Yeah, that's for the win. That's for the win. Big chomp, happy gets the victory. Well done. We did it, guys. We got our fourth gym badge. Woo! Oh, I can see defeat. You are remarkably strong. I must confer upon you the rainbow badge. Yes, you must. Those are the rules. The rainbow badge will make Pokemon up to level 50 obey. It also allows Pokemon to use strength in and out of battle. Please also take this with you. This should be um, Giga Drain. Yeah. Half the damage it inflicts. So that's basically just a better Mega Drain. So part of me thinks we should just give it to uh, Moirin, and part of me thinks maybe we give it to someone else, so we spread the grass love around. But there you go, guys. I think this is where we're going to end today's episode. We ended up picking up, like, four new Pokemon? What do we get? A Jigglypuff, a Caterpie, a Pidgeotto, and a Stantler, right? That's pretty good. That's that's pretty good. Oh, Pidgeotto. Can you believe it? <laughs> it's back. It's back. We're going to get to Pidgeot by the end of this. I feel positive of it. But um, thank you guys so much, as always, for clicking that like button. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to so make sure you don't miss any future episodes of the Nuzlocke. And leave a comment so you have an opportunity to have a uh, newly caught Pokemon named after you. But I think that's going to do it for today. Until next time. Bye. <laughs>